A new energy record is being prepared for the LHC that is due to provide collisions at 7 tera electron volts for its four experiments soon. The first stage of this complex procedure for increasing the energy of the LHC beams is starting right now in the control center. The procedure is called ramping, that is increasing the current inside the dipole magnets from an initial 700 amps to 6000 ampere. Before the procedure starts, let's ask Rudi Der Schmidt, head of the team powering the magnets, what is involved. Rudiger, what does it take to ramp the beam to the new energy record of 3.5 tera electron volts? In the LHC, we first inject the beam and the magnets are operating with a certain current, with a certain magnetic field in this moment. So we inject the beam at something which we call 400, 450 GeV. And the magnets, in this case, they operate at about 750 ampere. And this is what you see here on the screen. We have, in total, in the LEC, we have eight sectors. So the machine is separated in eight parts. And each sector has a power supply to feed the magnets. And that's what you see. You see here eight screens. And this is the current of the magnet in one of these, what we call sectors, as a function of time. You see it's about 750 ampere now. So what we need to do in order to collide the beams with 7 TV, we need to accelerate the beam. We need to go give the beam more energy. And what is necessary, if you don't do anything with the magnets, the beam would become more energetic and the particles would leave the vacuum chamber. So this you cannot do. So you have at the same time, you have to increase the magnetic field, that the particles are really kept on this very, very tight circle. In order to do so, you have to increase the magnet field, you have to increase the current inside the magnet. And that's what we intend to do now. We tried this out in all the different sectors. And uh, now, today, we want to do this for all the sectors at the same time. And once you've ramped it, why does it take still time before taking the beams into collision? First, we just ramp the magnets without any beam. So this is what we're going to intend to do now. The next step is you ramp the, all the magnets together with a very small beam, but only one beam from uh, either the beam which goes in this way or the beam which goes in the other way. And then you need to prepare for collisions because they are not only these magnets, which we have in the LEC. These are in total, behind this kind of screen, there are in total 1,232 magnets. There are other about 9,000 magnets, 8,500 to 9,000 magnets. To control. To control the beam very, very precisely. Yeah? And all these magnets also need to be controlled precisely in order that the beam has the right lifetime. It kind of can circulate for many hours in the LEC, uh, that the beam has the right size, it doesn't grow and so on. And all this needs to be controlled. And this also takes some time to bring into operation. I would say one or two weeks if we have, uh, if everything works reasonably well. And while we were talking, the ramp has started and is now well beyond 2,000 ampere. At 5:23 in the morning on March 19th, the two beams were brought to the new energy record of 3.5 teraelectron volts. It was incredible. I didn't didn't really didn't expect it to go to 3.5 TV the first go. I mean, astounding. I mean, I don't think anyone in their wildest dreams expected us to go to 3.5 TV. Uh, I think to, to do that on the first try just shows what a beautiful machine we've got here. Uh, we've still got a lot of work to do on the machine protection system, the beam dump, uh, making sure that the machine's safe for the experiments to switch on at 3.5 TV. But uh, the fact that we can get up the ramp without too many problems means we can move into that program now and be reasonably assured that there's a course that we can deliver collisions on the 30th of March. It was worth spending part of the night here in the CCC to witness this escalation of world energy records while the beam was being taken from 450 giga electron volt to 3.5 Terra electron volt, the highest peak for the LHC in 2010.
collisions at 7 electron volt are planned in just a week. The countdown to a new era in particle physics has just started. Tune in on CERN.ch on March 30th to follow the first attempt at colliding LHC beams to 7 electron volt live from CERN.